Hello, God bless you. You are all welcome to this edition of the Prophetic Hour. We bless the holy name of God. The God we are serving is a mighty God. And this same God will begin to work His wonders and miracles, even in your lives and destinies, in the name of Jesus. We bless the holy name of God for giving us the grace to see another week, another day. We bless Him, we honor Him, we thank God for His goodness and mercy over our lives and destinies. The God we are serving is a mighty God. And I know and I believe that this God will begin to work His wonders and miracles, even in our lives and destinies, in the name of Jesus. So welcome on board. We thank those who have been waiting for us to come on. We do appreciate you. We don't take you for granted. And we appreciate the goodness and mercy of God, even in your lives and destinies, in the name of Jesus. We know and we believe that this same God will begin to do a great work and a mighty work, even in your lives and destinies, in the name of Jesus. So you are all welcome on board. God bless you. It's so nice to see every one of you. And I know and I believe that this is your season, your moment for a great breakthrough. And God will work wonders and miracles for you in the name of Jesus. Please welcome once again. And please kindly share this on your Facebook pages. Share it on your timeline. And also share it amongst the groups you belong to. And God will bless. I'm so excited today for the goodness and mercy of God. And I believe that this God will begin to do a great work and a mighty work. Even in your lives and destinies in the name of So you are all welcome in Jesus name. God will bless, increase and prosper you marvelously and mightily in the name of Jesus. And don't forget we are on two platforms. As you can see now on the screen. We are on two platforms. We are on Facebook. That is our Facebook address. God will bless, increase, and prosper you. So please kindly share within your Facebook page. Share amongst the groups you belong to. And also share on your timeline. Send the link to your friends. The same link we send to you. Send it to your friends also. And God will bless, increase, and prosper you marvelously and mightily in the name of Jesus. So you are all welcome. You are also on YouTube. On YouTube, we can see comments on both platforms on YouTube and Facebook. And God will bless everyone in Jesus' name. Quickly, I just want to acknowledge those who I can see on Facebook. God will bless you. Sister Krista Townsend, God bless you. Sister Olamume, God bless you. Sister Nora, God bless you. Sister Becky, God bless you. Happy birthday to you today, Sister Buki. Becky Adeo Oloku, God will bless you. Mommy Adeshola, God bless you. Sister Bisola, God bless you. We appreciate you. Sister Sumbo, thank you. Daddy Adeshola, God bless you, sir. We appreciate you. God will bless, increase, and prosper you. My dear wife, Pastor Funke, God bless you. I appreciate you. Love you. Thank you very much. And also on YouTube, Sister Rebecca Adeo Oloku, God bless you. Sister Farabang, God bless you. Jamel, God bless you all in the name of Jesus. God going to bless, increase, and prosper you all in the name of Jesus. So please share, share, share. Let's get as many people as possible. Even now on Facebook and on YouTube. And God will bless, increase, and prosper you. We believe and we know that this God will do a great work and a mighty work. Even in your lives in the name of Jesus. So be rest assured God is with you. And this same God will begin to work his wonders and miracles even in every life and destiny in the name of Jesus. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Christ Center, a church I pass on my wife, Pastor Funke. It's a church where Christ himself reigns supreme and lives are touched and changed and transformed. And you know what? God will begin to do a great work and a mighty work even for you and through you in the name of Jesus. You begin to arise and shine, prosper and succeed mightily and marvelously this prophetic hour where you receive words that will encourage your soul and lift up your spirit words that will encourage your soul and lift up your spirit and don't forget this is our website as you can see on the screen right now you can get any information you want on our website god will bless you just visit our website and if you want to know anything about pastor god myself that's on our website and god will bless you and also our church address church has started and we bless the holy name of god so that's our church address as you can see on the screen right now you know what write down the address we are looking forward to welcoming you to church by the grace and by the power of god we know that this god will begin to do a great work and a mighty work for you and for everyone in jesus name on sundays at 10 a.m we are looking forward to welcoming you with open arms and tell you life shall never remain the same again and don't forget this program airs every it airs um every Tuesday, every Tuesday at every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Every Tuesday at 9 p.m. So make sure you join us. Invite your friends, put a reminder, and God will also bless, increase, and prosper you. We do appreciate you. And guess what? You will you will
will be elevated and lifted high in the name of Jesus. I say once again, you will be elevated and lifted high in the name of Jesus. The God we are serving is a mighty God, and this same God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. A good thing, a great thing will take place in your life. And I know that because you are watching, something unique will take somebody some, somebody type up something unique, something unique. So I should tell you something unique, something unique and great. I say that word unique. I say that word unique. And if you want a unique thing, a unique blessing, a unique success, a unique breakthrough, a unique deliverance, a, un, a unique turnaround, whatever unique, you will just type it out. Unique, unique. I tell you unique, guess what? Something unique and spectacular will take place in your lives and destiny. Unique, unique. And guess what? God begin to do a great work and mighty work, even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise, glory, honor. Marvelous King, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the first and the last. You are the beginning and the end. The Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Thank you for giving us the grace to be here again, even in your presence, where there's fullness of joy. We bless and worship and praise and adore you. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. There's not like unto you. There's not besides you. There's not we can compare unto you. Marvelous King, we bless and worship you for giving us the, to, the, the, the grace to sit again today. Mighty Father, El Shaddai, the ninth or the eighth of this month of September, Mighty Father, I accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We come before you today, Mighty Father, gather with us, have your way in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that your glory begin to shine and your name shall be manifested. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover the gathers with the blood of Jesus. We cover the connections with the blood of Jesus. We cover this program with the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way and let your name be glorified. We come against the work of the enemy and we destroy, we pull them down in the name of Jesus. We bind the power of the enemy and we cast it to hell in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree, have your way. Touch every viewer and let your name be glorified. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise in Jesus' precious and wonderful name. We pray. As some people call it, I see the word sorrow. As some people, as I was praying just now, I see the word sorrow. And I'm saying, what is this God for? And I say, and God is telling me that there's some people whose heart is the sorrow in their heart because of what they have had, because of what they have seen, because of what they have passed through. But as I as I, as I was I kept on looking and I see the hand. Clean, cleaning away that sorrow the sorrow was cleansed away totally and you could not see it you could not see it you could not see it was and said what's this god and god says he has wiped sorrow away now if that is you and you have one type of sorrow or another in your heart just tap it out sorrow has been wiped away sorrow has been wiped away sorrow has been wiped away and guess what that sorrow will be wiped away and guess what by this time next year you will come back and testify because sorry by this time next week not next year by this time next week next week you will have a great testimony you will testify and you become a testifier over that issue if you believe and you trust god you will testify and god will begin to do a great work and a mighty work even in your lives and death. so let's let's share 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 as you can see that's our facebook address send the link Copy the link, send it to your friends, let them connect, send the link we send to you on your WhatsApp, let them connect, let people connect from all over. You know, the more you share, the more you will get blessing, the more you will be blessed. The more you share, the more you will be blessed. The more you share, the more you will be blessed. So make sure, make sure you, you connect and God will bless, increase and prosper you all in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you once again. Have your way. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name. There's somebody, you prayed a, a, a prayer to God. And you said in your heart that, Lord, hear my prayer and act on my behalf. Hear my prayer and act, act on my behalf. It may not be in that same wordings, but hear my prayer and act on my behalf. Was your heart cry after you made that prayer. And I have good news for you. God said he has heard your prayers and he has answered you. He has heard your prayers and he has answered you. If that is you, to connect to what God is doing, just say he has heard and answered. Heard and answered. Just heard and answered. That's enough. Heard and answered. Because God knows your thing that he has heard and he has answered. So heard and answered. And that prayer, guess what? You will testify mightily and marvelously 
in the name of Jesus. This God begin to do a great work and a mighty work even in your lives and death. So let's get as many people as possible on board in this supernatural intervention series that I've been doing for quite a while throughout this year is supernatural intervention. And I believe that God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in every life in the name of Jesus. And our life shall never remain the same again. This God will begin to do a great work and a mighty work even in our lives and destinies. And I tell you, our life shall never remain the same again. This is your season, your moment, your hour for a great breakthrough. And God will work wonders and do a great work and a mighty work even for you and for everyone here in the name of Jesus. We shall begin to arise and shine prosper and succeed mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. I declare we shall begin to arise and shine in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Now let's go into the word of God. You know, we are talking about right direction, right direction. We're doing this. This is series or part 16, I believe. If you have missed any of these parts, don't worry. That's our Facebook address or YouTube channel on the screen. You know what? If it's YouTube you are on, when you go, when you connect to BOCN One TV, our channel, then you go to playlist, and when you go on playlist, you see uh, right direction, parts one to part um, fifteen is there already. Join, you can be, you can be blessed as you listen, and God will bless you. And also for Facebook, just go to a video and click on uh, when you click on videos, click on right direction, and you have parts one to six, um, fifteen there, and God will bless you. Today we are going on to part sixteen right direction supernatural intervention series supernatural interventions and god will supernaturally intervene in your life and destiny mightily and marvelously in the name of jesus you know going in the right direction is very very important but before then let's go and let's read the word of god the word of god is very important let's read the word of god the word of god is very important the book of john john Chapter 5. Mm, thank you, Lord. I hear a voice, a cry out. Somebody crying and saying that, Lord, am I going to continue like this? That's the words they are speaking. They are, they are saying, am I going to continue like this? Hmm. Am I going to continue like this? I keep hearing those people saying that. Am I going to continue like this? And I hear the voice of God say, no, you will not continue like this. And I hear God say with a loud voice, your change has come. Your change has come. If that is you, tap it out. You say that word, that am I going to continue like this? Tap it now. This is the answer. My change has come. My change has come. My change, as you bring that out, what guess what? Your change will come and has come. And guess what? You will testify, and there will be a drastic turnaround for you. My change has come. You say that word. Am I going to continue like this? And God is answering, you, No, you will not continue like that. Your change has come. And tell me that my change has come. My change has come. And guess what? Your change has come in the name of you. You will not continue the way you are. Your change, I declare once again, you will not continue the way you are. Your change has come. Your change has come. I declare once again, your change has come. And there will be a great and drastic change even in your life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Once again, say, your change has come. And this God will begin to work his wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. This is your season and your moment. The book of John, once again, if you're joining us, welcome to the prophetic hour where we receive words that will encourage our soul and lift up our spirit. Words that would encourage our soul and lift up our spirit. And we are going on this part 16. I said earlier, and God will bless you. We've been doing this for the last, this is 16th week, but 16 weeks now. And we bless God that God has been leading us in the right direction. That's why we are where we are today through the grace and mercy of God. Through the grace and mercy of God. Through the grace and mercy of God. I hear God say that because you are watching, He has located you through His grace and mercy. I hear that voice later. God says He has located you through His grace and mercy. Now, if you need grace and mercy, tap it out. Grace and mercy. Grace and mercy. Tap it out. Grace and mercy. Because God says He has located us through His grace and mercy. So tap it out. Grace and mercy. Grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord. The book of John... Chapter 5, verses 1 to 9. John chapter 5. I hope you are there already. John chapter 5, verses 1 to 9. 
And the word of God says in John chapter 5, verses 1 to 2, and it says, After this there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethsaida, having five particles. In this lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, without waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel of the Lord went down at a certain season to trouble and trouble the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Amen, amen, amen. Whatsoever disease he had. Verses 5 to 6. And the Bible says that, and a certain man was there which had an infirmity three, 30 and 8 years. When Jesus knew, the, uh, when Jesus saw him lie down and knew that he had been now a long time in this case, in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? And the impotent man answered, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming down, Another stepped down before me. That is eight and nine. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise once again and glory. As I go into our God, we talk, speak to us. Let your name be glorified. Father, we honor and we bless you. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name, we pray. Thank you, Lord. I see five pits being dug, five holes, five pits being dug. I see five holes, five pits being dug. I see five holes being dug. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm asking, what is this? And God says, this is the plan of the enemy. The enemy has dug holes for some people who are watching. But God says that because you are watching, the enemy will fall into the holes by themselves. The enemy has fallen into the holes they dug by themselves. Now, if you want the enemy to fall into that hole, just say back to sender. Back to sender. Because it's the enemy that did it. They wanted to send it there. Now you're sending it, you're returning it back to them. Back to sender. As you type that out, guess what? Every hole, every trap, every pit the enemy dug or has dug for anyone, guess what? The enemies will enter it themselves. They will go into it because we are returning it back to sender by fire, by power, and it's going back to the sender, and their powers are being destroyed and demolished by fire and by power in the name of Jesus. This is your season to arise and shine, and guess what? You begin to arise and shine in the name of Jesus. So, right direction. We need to be headed in the right direction. And one of the ways by which you can head in the right direction is by being led by the Spirit of God. When the Spirit of God leads us, we can never go wrong. When we yield to the Spirit of God, we can never make a mistake. When we listen to the Spirit of God, guess what? We can never make the wrong turn. Why? Because the Spirit of God will be leading us. The Bible says that those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Because heading in the right direction, heading in the right direction brings great success and satisfaction. Now, how can we get to this right direction. How can we be headed in this right direction? We've been doing this for quite a while. I just zoomed the point. I said before, if you have missed any of this, or if this is your first time of joining, don't worry. You can go to our Facebook page or YouTube address and channel, and then you can watch. Uh, just click on right direction and can watch all. And God will bless. So number one, we said that go up. After this, sorry, after this, there's an after this, and oh, I declare God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in our lives in the name of Jesus. And then celebration, celebration, all these points are linked with where we read in the book of John chapter 5, verses 1 to 9, but I will not be able to go into it because I want us to hear the word of God today, impact and it will impact our life. Number three, number three is go up, go up. We need to go up, you and I, we need to go up, and as we go up, guess what? God will begin to work His wonders. And miracles even in our lives and destinies in the name of number four your discovery your discovery what is your discovery that is very important and god will bless increase and prosper us and god will do a great work and a mighty work even in our lives and destinies number five no exception no exception to know the meaning of that just go to part uh, five of our program and write that and you'll be able to know more of what we mean by no exception number six 
certain season. There's always a certain season. And I declare that your season has come to arise and shine in the name of Jesus. I say once again, your season has come to arise and shine in the name of Jesus. Number five, number seven, sorry, number seven, your angel, your angel, your angel. When last did you um, give your angel an assignment? We need to be giving our angels assignment and God will bless everyone mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Number eight, the troubler. Our troubler has been destroyed and dislocated and disarmed in the name of Jesus. Tell me that my troubler has been disarmed. My troubler has been disarmed. And guess what? Our troubler is disarmed in Jesus' name. And number nine, progress report. Every one of us, we need to have a progress report. And God will give us that progress report as we move progressively, progressively forward in the name of Jesus. Number 10, yardstick for miracles. Yardstick for miracles. And number 11, these are the steps that you and I need to note so that we can be headed in the right direction. That grace the Lord will give to us in Jesus' name. And number 11, fight for your destiny. You and I, we need to fight for your destiny. Fighting for destiny doesn't mean that we fold our arms and say, what will be, will be. No, you have to fight for your destiny. Make sure that you fulfill your destiny. Because guess what? Your destiny, you have a destiny. So I'm going to that I have a destiny. I have a de- Everyone has a destiny. But you know what? Not everyone fulfills their destiny. Not everyone lives in their destiny. Not everyone experiences their destiny. But to, because you and I are watching, we shall live in our destiny. We shall enjoy our destiny. And we shall excel within our destiny. That out, I would excel in my destiny. I would excel in my... That's why, in my, that's why you need to fight for it. Number, number 11. Number 11... You need div- number twelve. Sorry, number twelve. Divine location. May God locate us divine. You know what? So Jesus that located this man where he was. So may may Lord may the Lord um, divinely locate you and I in the name of Jesus. Divine location. Divine location. And number thirteen. Number thirteen is number thirteen. Number sorry. Number number thirteen is sorry. Number 30 is right response. The right response. You also have to, we need to have the right response. Right response. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. And God will bless. Number 14 is helper. Our helper will locate us. Your helper, my helper will locate us. I declare today because I'm watching, your helper will locate you. Right where you are, your helper will locate you. If you want your helper to locate you, tap it out. I have been located by my helper. My, my helper has located me, whichever one. Because you know what? Our helper must locate us. And number 15, which we did last week, was one-way traffic or one-way solution. That is, there is not, God has diverse ways. Where we don't have even any way. So don't stereotype God as to the way he wants to work a miracle in your life. God cannot be stereotyped. God is a God of many ways. So you just focus and believe God. And you know what? The way that God has for you, he will lead you into it in the name of Jesus. And today, we are going on. Today, we are going on. And I believe that God will begin to work his wonder, wonders and his greatness even in our lives in Jesus name mm. I shall not be silenced my testimony shall not be silenced I shall not be silenced my testimony shall not be silenced what am I saying because I see a hand trying to cover a mouth I said what is this and I saw the hand of God removing the hand like that and God is saying if you say that I shall not be silenced I shall not be silenced I shall testify I shall not be silenced I shall testify I shall not be silenced I shall testify you may wonder ah Lord we are in September again I've come to tell you it doesn't matter which month we are in one thing that what one thing that matters is that that is important is that guess what even in this very month you will testify I say and I declare in this very month you shall testify. I say once again, in this very month, you will testify. I say once again, in this very month, in the month of September, today being the 9th of September, I, 8th of September, sorry, 8th of September, I declare and I decree you would testify in the name of Jesus. I say once again, you would testify in the name of Jesus. I shall not be silenced. I shall not be silent. So today, Father, we thank you. As I go into what God with us, let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord. We give all the praise in Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. I hear, God not tell me what, what it is, but I hear that sickness is over. 
that sickness is over. There's somebody watching, you have, God, you not tell what type of sickness it is, but that sickness is, that voice I had, that sickness is over. If that is you, tap it out. The sickness is over. The sickness is over. And guess what? God will touch you. And within the next three days, there's going to be a divine, divine operation that God will carry out. And the sickness will be over. I see God working on it right now, right now, right now. And I see that you are improving in that area. And God is doing a great work. Tap it out. The sickness is over. The sickness is over. If that is you, the sickness is over. And God will begin to work His wonders and miracles, even in every life, in the name of Jesus. So, Today we're talking about uh, number 16, right direction, rise and walk. Right direction, rise and walk. Let us share, share, share. Let's share as wide and as far as possible and God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in every life and destiny. Let's begin to share, share, share and tell you great things will take place even in your life and destiny. Now, where we read in verse um, John chapter 5, verse 8, John 5, it says, Jesus said unto him, Jesus said, rise, Take up thy bed and walk. Rise, take up thy bed and walk. Now, this man had a word. A word. It's always important for us to hear the word. And not only hearing the word, acting on the spoken word. And that's what I'm talking about today. Acting on the spoken word. Now, Jesus told the man in John chapter 5 verse 8, Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and and walk. Rise, take up thy bed and walk. Rise, take up your bed and walk. Now it's time for you and I to rise. Now there's the word that has gone forth. Now the word of God has gone forth for quite a while now, for 16 weeks, talking about what we are doing now. This is the 16th week. Now it's time for you and I to rise and walk, to act on the word we have been having. Somebody say, I will act on the word. I would act on the word. I would act on the word. Because you and I, we need to act on on the world, not only hearing it, there are many who have been hearing it. Bible says people have you know meet with faith in them and you not do anything in their lives. But this time around, when we are hearing the word, it must meet with faith in our heart, and then we must act on it, and then there will be a performance. You must act on the word we have had. Rise and walk. Rise and walk in the right direction. Now, look at most, uh, look at Abraham. God called Abraham. And Abraham got up in the morning and he arose. God told him, go to a place that I will show you. He had the word and he arose and he acted on it. And guess what? He became a blessed man. He had the word. He arose and he acted on it and he became a blessed man. He had the word. He arose. He acted on it and he became a blessed man. So he had the word, number one. He arose, number two. He acted on it, number three. And he became a blessed man, number four. So I can talk that out. He had the word. He arose. He acted on it and he became a blessed man. The word of God says that Jesus told this man in John chapter 5 verse 8. And said unto him, rise, take up thy bed and walk. Rise and walk. God is always giving the command. It's not left for you and I to follow the command of God. Many times we doubt when we hear the word. The question tonight is that what is your reaction to the word? What is your reaction to the word you are hearing? You go to church every time, you, you go on your, on, your, on your device, on social media, on TV, on radio, you are hearing all this word. Now, what action are you taking on every word you have been hearing it's not hearing the word that that is important but also acting on the heart on the word you hear now this man the bible says that just told him right take up your bed and walk it was a spoken word it was a spoken word spoken words are very powerful and every word of god is a spoken word i repeat that Every word of God is a spoken word. Now, Joseph, the father of Jesus, and Mary, Joseph was sleeping, and the angel of God appeared to him and told him, Rise, take up that child, and go to Egypt, uh, because somebody is seeking his life. And Joseph had the word. He arose, he acted on it, and Jesus was saved. There's always um, a good ending to hearing the word of God in the right direction. Not only that, guess what? Or you know, um, Abraham headed in the right direction, even though he never knew where he was going. Joseph too, when he had and had that dream, he rose. He rose up immediately. 
He acted on the word and he arose and he went. He didn't just fold his arms. Acting on the word of God is very important. Right direction, rise and walk. Right direction, rise and walk. It's not only rising, it's also walking. Walking, acting on the word you have had. It's very important to act on the word. Now, Peter had toiled all night. He caught nothing. But he said, at your word. So he had his word. He arose took the thing, took his net, and he let down the net, and he had a great catch. It's always rising, rising and acting on the word of God. If you want to head in the right direction, that's why I said that those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children, or called the children of God. They are the children of God. Why? Because we need to be at a lot to hear the voice of of God. Because the voice of God will lead us aright. The voice of God will show us the way. The voice of God will lead us into things. Now, the Bible talks about David. David went with the Philistines and they sent him back. They cannot go to war with us against Israel because you can turn your back. And by the time he got back to Ziglar, they also said that the Amalekites had come and they've taken everything that they had worked for for many, many years. And not only that, they, you know, they burned the city and took everything in a way and they were so uh, they were so down and they began to cry but David inquired of the Lord and God says arise arise he heard the word of God go pursue and overtake and you recover all go pursue and you recover and what did David do he arose hearing the word of God and acting the, on the word of God is very important for you to be headed in the right direction it's not only heading in the right direction but you see you need to hear the word so that you can know that you are headed or you are heading in the right direction David had the word and he arose and he went and guess what he had the word he arose he went after the Amalekites he overtook he pursued he overtook and he recovered all that is the benefit of hearing and acting on the word of God was that he recovered all. do you know if you can act on the word of God right now you will recover all if you can act on the word of God right now guess what you would recover all the problem we human beings have is that without the word of God we don't trust. No, no, we don't trust. We don't believe in the work. Even if we are acting on the word of God, we we act on it with doubt. We need to act on the word of God with all faith that you and I have. When the word of God says you are healed, guess what? You are healed. Never look back. Never doubt. Never, even if that thing is still hurting you, know that yes, I am healed. You may still hurt me, but the word of God says I am healed and act on that word of God. And guess what? In the end, you will be healed. Right direction. Rise and walk. Act on the spoken word. Act on the spoken word. When Saul was stopped by Jesus before he entered Damascus, the Bible says that the, the Lord spoke to him, Rise and go to Damascus, and you shall be shown what you have to do. And he arose. He arose. He went to Damascus. In the end, his destiny changed, and he was able to walk in his destiny. You know, when we act on the word, we will realize our destiny, and guess what? We will fulfill our destiny. Saul or Paul thought he was doing his destiny by persecuting all the Christians, not knowing that he was in the wrong destiny. It took Christ to stop him at his pace, and he went blind, and he had that word. Go into Damascus, not to kill anyone, but to stay there. He stood there for three days, and what happened? He saw Ananias coming, laying his hands on him, scales fell off his face, of his eyes, and he began to see, and he began to pursue his, his God-given destiny. Now, when we act on the word, when we rise and we act on the word, guess what? We will always pursue our God-given destiny. And we will always pursue our God-given destiny. Rise! 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 We must rise and walk. We must rise and walk. Walk in the right direction. Always act on the word of God. John 5, 8. Jesus said unto him, Rise! Take up thy bed and walk. Now, this man had been sick for 38 years. Let's even focus on this man a little, a little bit. This man had been sick for 38 years. And guess what? For him to be able to take up his pallet or his bed and walk, 
he required energy. You know, when somebody has been sick, for those who are in the medical field out there, when somebody has been sick for even five, six years, or even one year, you tell them they have to go through therapy so that they can regain the use of their nerves, of their veins, of their strength, of their hands, of their legs, because they may not know how to coordinate properly. But this man that was sick for 38 years, laying or lying in the same position for 38 years, Jesus told him, rise, take up your pallet and walk. When, we, when the word of God is telling you, rise and walk, it doesn't matter your circumstances. Somebody type that out. It doesn't matter your circumstances. Stop looking at your circumstance. Many people look at their circumstance. They look at the things that is happening around them. Stop looking around. Stop looking around. Someone can type that out too. Stop looking around. Stop looking around. Focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Say again. I say again. Focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. You need to arise and walk in the right direction. I say once again, you need to arise and walk in the right direction. We're talking about right direction. And the only way you can walk and move in the right direction is by what? Listening to the word of God. Now, the question today is that what is the word of God saying to you? What is the word of God telling you? What is the word of God instructing you? What is God telling you to do? When you do that, guess what? You'll be headed in the right direction and you will never miss it. Many people are parabolating around the bush. Why? Because they are not following instructions. For example, now, many people in their cars or on their phone, they have what we call sat nav or navigation. It navigates them to where they are going. And what do they do? They put their destination of where they are going from where they are starting from. It's not when they get to the nation. Where they are starting from, they put in into either their uh, sat nav in the car or their uh, mobile sat nav they have or their device they have or their phone they have or whatever they have. They put the, the address there and the sat nav calculates and tells you turn right, turn left, turn right. Now, if the sat nav tells you turn right and you turn left, guess what? It will reroute it and it may take a longer route or you may miss the road and it will tell you make a U turn. Now, Jesus is our like our satna the holy ghost is our satna to show us the way as long as we listen to the direction of the holy ghost guess what you can never go wrong just as long as you follow the path of the satna guess what you can never go wrong it will take you to your destination because you are putting the right address what am i saying when we listen to the holy ghost when we listen to the word of god when we listen and follow the word of god guess what we will always be headed in the right direction all we need to do is to head in the right direction stop parabolating around the bush, stop beating around the bush, let the Holy Spirit lead you on point. Let him lead you into your destiny. Let him show you the way. Let him guide you. Just as David said, the Lord is my shepherd. He guides me through the, uh, even though I walk through the valley of shadow, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Why? Because when we pass through even the valley or whatever you're passing through, guess what? God is always with you and I. God is always with us. If God is with you, type it down. God is always with me. God is always with me. Because we need to know that God is always with you and I to work a miracle, to deliver us, to set us free. What are we talking about? Right direction. Rise and walk. Right direction. Rise and walk. Guess what? When the Israelites were at the tip of the Red Sea and they were crying out and God said, Arise, Moses, walk through. And as they began to walk through, it gave way. They arose and they walked based on the word of God. They arose and they walked based on the work of God and get on the word of God. And guess what? There was a way. When you follow the word of God and you arise and shine, guess and you arise and walk in the word of God. Guess what? There will always be a breakthrough. Look at the woman. Um the the widow of Zarephath. The widow of Zarephath. Look at her. The Bible talks about the widow of Zarephath. That Elijah went to meet her and said, Okay, he sat down and saw her by the well. Okay, get me a glass of water. The woman did not mind. But the woman had problems when Elijah began to talk about, eh, Bake me, bake me a muzzle of cake. I am so hungry. And the man turned around and said, Ah, man of God, you know, you know, I 
only have what is eat and die. May we not be in that situation. It's eat and die. If they have and our son will eat and they will die. And Elijah said that, thus said the Lord, shall not die. And the Bible said, she arose and obeyed the word of God. She arose and went and did it. And the Bible said that from that day forward, throughout the famine, the house did not lack. You know, the Bible only spoke there about the son and the woman. But guess what? When there was surplus in her house, the Bible now writes that she and her family, that is, other people came and they enjoyed the surplus she had. Why? Because she arose and acted on the word of God. She arose and acted on the word of God. If you can arise and act on the word of God, you will have excess supply. I say again, if you can arise and act on the word of God, just as that, just, just as that woman, during famine, she had great supply. During famine, she had great supply. Let's tap it out. I will have great supply during famine. Hmm. I will have great supply during famine. I will work in great supply during famine. I will experience great supply during famine. I will experience abundance during famine. Whatever you want to explain during famine, type it out. I will experience unlimited supply during famine. You know, during famine you must declare. Because famine will come, but guess what? The Lord will supply. Why? Because we are arising and we are working in the direction of the word of God. We are rising and walking in the direction of the word of God. We are rising and walking in the direction of the word of God. Right direction. Rise and walk. We need to act on the word of God. We need to act on the word of God. You and I, we need to act on the word of God. When we act on the word of God, guess what? We receive abundance of miracles. Acting on the word of God is very, very, very important. Now, the man who was born blind in John chapter 9, I believe, John chapter 9, the man who was born blind, the Bible says that after Jesus had spat on the floor, he made spittle with the sand and he put it on his face and told him, go to Shiloh and wash. What did the man do? The man arose. He arose and got somebody to take him to Shilohim, and he went to Shilohim, and he acted on that word. He cleansed his face, his face or his uh, eyes, with the water in Shilohim, and he began to see. He, he, was, he came back seeing. Why? Because he arose, and he acted on the word. It's very important for you and I to arise and act on the word. Not be saying that, because the word of God is not lost. It's close to you. It's near to you. You don't need anybody to say, I need the word of God. The word of God is near to you. It's very close to you. Act on the word of God you have had. Even it's for sin, disease sin, resist sin, run away from sin. It's the word of God that says we should run away from sin. Flee every appearance of sin. That is the word of God. So when you act on the word of God and you, you arise and you act on the word by fleeing sin, guess what? Great blessings will come your way. Great blessings will come your way because he said that if you obey my commandment, so and so will happen to you in the book of um, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 to 14. I believe the blessings there. He says it will follow you, it will pursue you, it will overtake you, it will be with you. That everything belonging to you shall be blessed if only we arise and obey and follow the word of God. Now, people who don't follow the word of God they end up in a bad way. May we not end up in a bad way. We're talking about, but you need to follow the word of God. We need to follow the word of God. We need to follow the word of God. We need to rise and walk. Rise and walk. Rise and walk. Right direction. Rise and walk. Are you rising? Are you walking? Are you acting on the word of God? Are you rising? Are you hearing? Are you rising? Are you acting? Are you, are you moving in that direction of the word of God? Because some people may hear the word of God and move opposite that word they are hearing. Don't do that. That will not be our portion. Always move in the direction of the word of God. And when you move in the direction of the word of God, guess what? There will be a turnaround for you and I. We shall arise and shine. We shall prosper and succeed. We shall make it and move forward. Blessings shall be our portion in the name of Jesus. Every good thing. We lay our hands on. According to the word of God, acting on the word of God, guess what? It shall prosper for you and I. No more losses. 
I hear the voice of God saying, no more losses. No more. Lo if you have been losing things recently, tap it out. No more losses. No more. Lo because the word of God is leading you in the right direction. No more losses. No more losses. No more losses. Why? Because God has started something new and something great in your lives in the name of Jesus. Right direction. Rise and walk. The grace and ability to hear the word of God and act on the word of God. The Lord will give it to us so that we can reap the benefit of hearing and listening to the word of God. James says that don't be hearers only deceiving yourself, but be hearers and doers of the word. Be hearers and doers of the word. So as you are hearing this word today, become a doer of this word and God himself will bless you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. May God bless us. Father, we thank you bless you. We give you all the praise, glory, honor, marvelous King. Accept our thanks and Jesus. We have heard your word, that Lord, the one you spoke to the man in John chapter 5, verse 8, that he should rise and take up his bed and walk. We have heard your word. Lord, the grace to hear your word, act on your word, and there will be a performance, Lord, in the right direction. Lord, give it to us in Jesus' name. Abraham did it, it worked for him. David did it, it worked for him. Joseph did it, it worked for him. Jacob did it, it worked for him. Um, Peter did it, he worked for him. Paul did it, he worked for him. Everyone in the Bible, they did it and it worked for them. And you're the same God yesterday, today and forever. We declare and decree. As you begin to rise and act on your word, Lord, we declare and decree it will work for us. There will be a performance. And the grace to act on your word and move in the right direction, Lord, we receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Father, let your name be glorified, honored and praised. Thank you, Lord, we bless you. We give you all the praise in Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Somebody type it out. I am acting on the word. I am acting on the word. Somebody type it out. I am acting on the word. Because we need to act on the word. I am acting on the word. Before we do anything else, if you, have, if you are not born again, you have this program, you need to act on the word of God. The word of God says that if... Um, Truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man be born again, shall never enter or see the kingdom of God. Now, if you want to enter the kingdom of God, you need to be born again. You need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I can do that very simply. Just say this after me. Lord Jesus, I come before you. I know I'm a sinner and I cannot save myself. I am sorry for all my sins. Forgive me, Lord, for of all my sins and cleanse with your blood. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and be my Lord. Give me your Holy Spirit to empower me and save me, Lord, from the devil. Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayers. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. If you have said this prayer, you are born again, you are living within London, Pastor Funke and myself, we are looking forward to seeing you in church. That is the church address on the screen. This Sunday, 10 a.m., make sure you come and God will bless you. And if you are living outside London or you are, you are, you are watching from outside Europe or outside UK, guess what? Look for a Bible-living church, based church, believing church to go to and tell the man or woman of God that you have just been born again. You want him or her to nurture you in the way of the Lord. And guess what? They will nurture you in the way of the Lord and God will bless you. It's very important to act on the world and that grace the Lord will give to everyone in the name of Jesus. And Jehovah God will begin to walk his one that are miracles even in lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. I say the Lord begin to work his wonders and miracles even in life and I want to pray for two people one on Facebook and because we have a little bit of time one on Facebook and one on YouTube one on Facebook one on, I said four things that one needs to do when it comes to the word of God when it comes to the right direction I said four things can somebody give me those four things? The first person to give me, both on Facebook or on YouTube, I will pray for the person. And also, I want to pray for one of our sisters. Today's her birthday, Sister Becky Ade Oloku. I want to. I will pray for you also. So I'm going to pray for three people: one on Facebook, one on YouTube. The four steps or the four things you need to do. You know, I kept emphasizing it so that you can experience the blessings in the Word of God. The first one to write the four in that order on Facebook and on YouTube. God will bless you and I will pray for you. While I'm waiting for that, while I'm waiting for that, don't forget we have our programs coming up by the grace of God. We have our programs coming up. We have our programs coming up. Um, our online programs um, every Wednesday we have Bible study as you can see. Our Bible study is interactive. I forgot myself. We'll come together to that every Wednesday by the grace and power of God. We'll have Bible study. So make sure you join us this Wednesday tomorrow at 7 p.m. for Bible study. It's interactive. You can ask questions and God will bless, increase, and prosper you all in the name of Jesus. And then number two, um, sorry, the second one, I'm trying to see at the same time if anybody's answering my question. And then on Sundays, we have a um, couples forum 
where we learn to live together in love, peace and harmony. How to live together in love, peace and harmony on Sundays at 8 p.m. And my dear wife, the woman of God and the apostle of um, Hear My Cry, she comes up every Sunday at 6 a.m. on this channel also and this and uh, this Facebook page. And Mondays at 11 p.m. and also um, Wednesdays tomorrow. Wednesday tomorrow at 1 p.m. Make sure you join and God will bless, increase and prosper you in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen and amen. And then we have our program um, Breakthrough, sorry, not Breakthrough, um, Prophetic Hour every Tuesday at 9 p.m. by the grace of God. And then on Thursdays, you know, it has changed. We finished Breakthrough Prayers. Now we are going to another set of prayers, Restoration Prayers. Restoration prayer. I'll give you the advice very soon before we finish. Restoration prayers. Where we're going to be restored. All our stony blessings are going to be restored. It's going to be very powerful. This starting this Thursday. Don't miss it. Restoration prayers. Where things will be restored into our life that the enemy has stolen and there will be a turn around for you and I. That's Thursdays at 9 p.m. You know, we have done lockdown. We are over lockdown now and we did breakthrough after coming out of breakthrough, breakthrough. And now, we want to recover our restoration prayers and God will bless everyone mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Please don't forget, don't forget to like our Facebook page. Like our Facebook page. Um, love our Facebook page and follow it. Like it, follow it, share. Now, if you go on our Facebook page now, you can see on the main page, you can just easily click on follow it. There's follow it button. Just as you scroll through our Facebook page. So as soon as you open our Facebook page, as you can see there, you will see follow it. So click on follow it. We want as many followers as possible. So you don't need so much process now. We've done it whereby you can just click on follow and follow it and you follow our Facebook page. So make sure you follow so that when we are coming on, you have that notification and God will bless. And for those who are on YouTube, for those who are on YouTube, for those who are on YouTube, yeah, we need you to subscribe to our channel subscribe to our channel our channel and also press the notification button the button that looks like a bell press it that anytime you're coming on you'll be notified and god will bless and we want to get as many subscribers as possible thanks for those who have subscribed um earlier i think we are on 96 or something i check i can't remember the figure but we are almost that hundred so god will bless you so please let's hit it for those who are on youtube now hit it hit it subscribe and god will bless increase and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. The God we are serving is a mighty God. And don't forget, Sunday we have service. And then Friday, let's have a go on Friday, by the grace of God, Friday, this Friday, we have the last, the fifth uh, Friday of our uh, Friday prayers for 30 minutes, 10 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. That's UK time, 10 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. This Friday we are praying for our old age. If you want to enjoy your old age, you want to use your old age in goodness and mercy and comfort, this Friday is for you, 10 to 10.30. 10 Make sure you join and God will bless, increase and prosper you. That's the fifth Friday of our five Fridays prayer. This Friday will be the last one. So make sure you join and God will bless, increase and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. This God that we are serving is a mighty God. And I believe that God will begin to work wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Now let me go back and see those who is the first person to write to answer me properly. I see that people are writing. I write in the first person wrote Sister Mawangi. Here arise and act. I said four, 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 four. There are four. And Sister Palace writes, Hard arise, act, and walk on it. And that's the right one. So I think I believe that on my system here, she's the first person to get the proper answer. That is, um, here you hear. You hear the word of God, you arise on what you hear, you act on it, you act, you act, is it act? Yes, you act on it, you arise, you act, and you walk on You walk on it, I believe so, because I did not write, that's it, you had, arise, and walk on it, here, act, rise, and walk on it, hold on, hold on, Sister Pala says, here, arise, act, and walk on it, someone say here, act, rise now you have to you have to rise before you act on it so sister bishola says here act rise walk is here rise when you hear you rise and then you act and you walk in it so i think sister Pala has got it here arise act and walk in it amen amen so Mr. Mamadani says arise here arise act and act on the word yes but the first person to get it 
is um sister dickness um the last is hear the word of god believe the word walk in the word act on the word mm -mm. you didn't put rice there so i don't want to be going on and on so the first place to get is sister palace let me check youtube if anybody answered on youtube um sister ideal look says he had a rose act and blessed no sister benny says arise act be blessed and had Sister Farah says, uh, sorry, I didn't say Sister Farah. Farah says, had, arise, arose, act, and be blessed. Okay, yes. So, Sister Farah was the first person that got it on YouTube. So, I pray for, first and foremost, Sister Palace. Father, we thank you. Lord, I pray for your daughter, Sister Palace, you bless her in Jesus' name. I hear God saying, Sister Palace, that God says he's coming for you. He's coming. He hasn't forgotten about you. God says he's coming. He has not forgotten about I hear his loud and clear. God says he's coming. He has not forgotten about you. You're going to testify. The power from your village where you come out from, from that place where you come out from, I've been fighting against your destiny. God is telling me to tell you that pray and fast for three days. Pray and fast for three days. You break every day. And tell God that Lord, that power that is battling against me, Lord, destroy it totally. I don't want to see it anymore. And once you do that prayer for three days, guess what God says? That everything will be resolved and you begin to experience unusual breakthrough. Father, we thank you. Let your name be glorified in Jesus' precious and wonderful name. Now, Sister Farah on YouTube, Father, we thank you. I pray for your daughter. Bless her in Jesus' name. Do a new work. Work wonders. I hear God say that don't be worried about where you are now because he's taking you to a higher level. Be patient. Wait patiently for him. He's taking you to a higher level. I hear the Spirit of God say that he's taking you to a higher level. Now, if I were you, I will prepare myself, prepare myself so that I'll be able to fit in that higher level. And your prayer point is that, Lord, give me the grace to be well prepared for where you are taking me to. Lord, give me the grace to be well prepared and well equipped for the place that you are taking me to. The place that God is taking you is very high. Very, very high. Very great. Very high. Very high. Very high. Very high. Very high. And I hear God say, stop worrying about, about things that took place in your mom's life. So the thing will not happen to you. I hear the Spirit of God say that. Such things will not happen to you. The stress... And the ups and downs your mother went through, I hear God say you will not pass through it. So stop worrying about that. Because He, the Lord, has taken you out and brought you out from that. Because you are a new person. Father, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. The God we are serving is a mighty. And I want to pray for, please, um, help me wish this sister, sister um, Becky and they look today's her birthday. And God has laid on my heart as I came on. If it's your birthday... Uh, when we come on, on, on Thursday or Friday, or Thursday or, or Tuesday or Thursday, Tuesday or Thursday, so, but let me know, I will pray for you. I'll be praying for those who have bad dates on those days, on Tuesday and Thursday. I pray for you. So I want to pray for Sister Becky. Adel. Father, we thank you. I pray for you that the Lord will increase you and bless you. Hmm. God says he has not forgotten about you. God says he's going to bring your heart desire to pass. He's always going to make a way for you. He's telling me to tell you, to put your mind at rest. Focus on Him. Focus on Him. I don't know what you do in your church, but listen to me. For three days, no, for three Sundays, when you go to church, join those who clean the church, the sanctuary for three Sundays. God says, every junk and every debt and every evil deposit of the enemy in your life is going to sweep it away. As you are sweeping and clearing and cleaning the church, God says it's going to be clearing it away Sweeping it away, vacuuming it away, sucking it away. All the boss you are seeing in your life today, all the commands and question mark in your life today, God is telling me to tell you that as you begin to clean his church, he would decorate your life and remove all those things. And by this time next time, when you look back, you have every cause to glorify his will. Thank you, Lord. We bless you in Jesus' precious and wonderful name. Thank God you're not a member of our church. I believe you are watching from Ireland. So, when you call that divine instruction, guess what? There will be a miracle for you. Father, we thank you. I pray for everyone. Bless them in Jesus' name. Let your name be glorified and let your name be honored. Thank you that we bless you. 
We give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. Hmm. I hear God say that, I should tell somebody, He has not forgotten you. He is coming. He has not forgotten you. He is coming. God says He has not forgotten you. He is coming. I hear that voice like that. that he has not forgotten you. He is coming. If that is you, tap it out. He has not forgotten me. He is coming. He has not forgotten me. He is coming. Father, we thank you. Let your name be glorified. We give all the praise in Jesus' precious and wonderful name. Before I go, quickly, I want to show the program we had. It's coming up this um, Thursday by the grace of God. This is our new program, Restoration Prayers. Make sure you are part of this and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. We want God to restore all our stolen blessings. You know, Thursdays are about prayers, prophetic and prayers. Today, usually the word of God and prophetic. Thursdays is um, prayers and prophetic. So, join us for Restoration Prayers this Thursday. Come and sign this Thursday by the grace of God on this same Facebook page and YouTube. And also on Friday, I just want us to know and see it. On Friday, we are doing the last leg of our five Fridays. We are praying for our old age. Make sure you are part of this also and God will bless you. It's time for us to pray for our old age. So that we age very well and we have peace and joy and harmony and we relax in our children, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren by God's grace and God will bless everyone. So once again, thank you everybody. God will bless, increase and prosper you. You will continue to arise and shine, prosper and succeed. The plan and purpose of God for your life shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Father, bless every viewer. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord. They've stayed and been with us throughout and I declare the Lord will stand with you. And Lord will be with you. Mm. That dream you had, that negative dream, I see it cancelled by the blood of Jesus. If that is you, there's a negative dream, there's a bad dream you had recently. I'm talking between, between, between five days and now, five days ago and now, five days ago and now, you had a bad dream and you were, you were perplexed about the dream. Now, I see the blood of Jesus cancelling it. If that is you, just say, blood of Jesus. And once you type that out, it will be cancelled and what the evil or whatever has been taken away will be the Lord himself will turn it around to your good. Father, we thank you. Bless all our viewers. Let your name be glorified in Jesus' precious and wonderful name. Once again, thank you very much. See you tomorrow for Bible study. My wife is coming 1 p.m. tomorrow also. And then we meet again on Thursday for Rational Prayers. And God will bless you. Jesus. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.